Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to a very special episode of Bunches of Lunches. In today's video, I'm sharing my absolute top 10 favorite lunches of 2018. And you know, it was actually kind of hard for me to narrow them down to just 10 because with this series and the toddler lunch series and the letter lunch series, that equals over 300 different lunches that I shared on this channel last year. That's a lot of lunches. But I have to say it was so much fun putting all these lunches together and I can't wait to share even more fun but easy lunch ideas this year. Now before we get started, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you're new. And without further ado, let's get started. Lunch number 10 comes from my colorful lunch series, where over two weeks I made a different colored lunch every day. I made red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, white, black, and brown. But my favorite one was... Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. Today I have Jackson and Lily with me. Say hi. 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 So what do you think about the purple lunch today? That's awesome. It's awesome. Well, last week when we did colors, we ended on blue. So Friday was blue. So of course today, on Monday, we're gonna go with purple. I had several comments last week about whether or not my portion sizes were big. I get this a lot, you guys. But I want you to keep in mind that this is just lunch. This isn't breakfast or snacks. And the kids aren't gone all day because we're homeschoolers. And so I don't really need to pack them a ton of food. So just keep that in mind. So for today's lunch, I started by decorating my boxes. I added a purple napkin to the bottom and some purple cupcake liners. Super simple, not expensive, and it really makes it easier to clean. And you guys, since today I'm sending cereal, I wanted to be sure to give them a napkin just in case there's any spills. So for this lunch today, I started by cutting up some purple carrots. Now I think these taste just like regular carrots. I don't think they taste weird at all. And of course, to go along with that, I'm also giving the kids a handful of the purple grapes. I put a little purple flag in there just for fun and they can actually use it to pick up their grapes. Today, I'm also giving the kids lots of this really fun cereal. This is the purple maize flake cereal. I get this at Trader Joe's. And it's just slightly sweet, but it's really tasty. It's gluten-free, and they're crispy and delicious. So of course, to go along with our cereal today, I'm also giving the kids some milk, but this is just half full. They don't usually use a ton of milk for a little cereal bowl like that. Today, I'm super excited to be giving the kids this RX bar for kids. These are the first time we've tried these, and there's a lot of protein in here, so like seven grams of protein, and you can see all of the ingredients are listed here on the front, so there's no weird ingredients or anything like that. Egg whites, almonds, cashews, and one date, and that's it. And this package is sort of a light purple color, so it's perfect for today. Now lastly, I am sending the kids with this berry applesauce. I get these at Trader Joe's, and because there's berries in it, it definitely makes it look like a nice, purpley color. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the lunch boxes. I definitely want to put an ice pack in there today to keep the milk nice and cold. And I'm sure to put a spoon in there as well. And we'll see when we get back. We're back home now and here's what we ate. Good job guys. I've got Jackson and Mackenzie and Lily with me. So let's see how they did today. What was your guys' favorite part? I like the cereal. You like the cereal the yeah, best? Me too. That is really good cereal. I see Mackenzie ate all of hers. Let's see. Did you eat everything? Mm-hmm. Very nice. Okay, let's check Jackson's. How'd it go, Jack? Good. Yeah? I can see you had all of your cereal and all of your milk. And oh, there's just one little bite of carrot. That's actually pretty good. Now let's check Lily's. You had all your milk. What did you like, Lily? You did? Oh, yours got a little bit messy. Oh, there's a few grapes left in there and just a few carrots, so that's pretty good. How did you like your RX bars? They were good. Yeah? Overall, you guys did very well today. And you know what color's coming up tomorrow? No. Pink. Yay! <laughs> Lunch number nine comes from our summer lunch series, where we not only showed our lunch, but we also showed the activity we were doing that day. 
This lunch was one of my favorites because it was a mystery lunch. Hi guys and happy Thursday. We are back home now and we're gonna do a mystery wheel lunch today. These are all our choices for the main course. We can have ham and cheese, quesadillas, mac and cheese, pita and hummus, cheese pizza, peanut butter jelly, or chicken nuggets. Okay, Lily, out of all these choices, which one are you hoping it's gonna be? This cheese pizza. Cheese pizza is your favorite choice? Uh -huh. Okay, which one do you not want it to be? Pita and hummus? You don't want it to be? Yeah, I don't like peanut and hummus. Quesadillas! Yes. Good choice. Okay, Mackenzie, tell us what our veggie choices are today. Today our choices are corn, sweet mini peppers, spinach salad, cauliflower, celery, cucumbers, and some broccoli. So Kenzie, what would be your first choice? Mm, I would pick cucumbers. Cucumbers? And what are you hoping it's not gonna be? Peppers, you don't want to be peppers? No. Are you ready to spin? Yeah. And go. Cauliflower. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jackson, are you ready to pick the fruit? Mm-hmm. What are our choices? Our choices are Frozen grapes, bananas, peaches, mangoes, mandarin oranges, applesauce pouches, or regular apples. Okay, Jackson, out of all of these choices, which one are you hoping it's gonna be? What's your favorite? I got two. What are your favorites? The frozen grapes and the tiny oranges. Tiny oranges, okay. And which one are you hoping it's not gonna be? Which one do you not like? The bananas, cause they're really smushy. Are you ready to spin? Uh-huh. Go for it. Bananas! Bananas. Oh no! <laughs> okay Jackson, what are the drink choices today? Halloween Kool-Aid, water, apple juice, fruit juice. <laughs> Lemonade, orange juice, and chocolate milk. Are you ready to spin? Go for it. What's it gonna be? Mm, uh oh, let's try one more time. Orange juice. Yeah. That's not too bad. For our snack today, we have goldfish crackers, and these are the incredible ones. Popables, veggie straws, my favorite choice, the kind buys, Halloween veggie chips, film chicka pop, popcorn, and Halloween pretzels. Okay, Lily, which one are you hoping it's going to be? Which one's your favorite? This one. <laughs> oh yeah, you told us that. And which one are you hoping it's not gonna be? Which one is your least favorite? The yes. veggie chips, why? I don't like veggies. You don't like veggies? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, and these chips. Are you ready to spin? Yeah. Go for it. Ah. Boom, chicka pop. Yeah. Oh, that's a good choice. Okay, Kenzie, what are the choices for the special treat today? A banana popsicle, bunny grams, dried cranberries, pumpkin biscuits, sour gummies, My Little Pony cookies, or Halloween gummies. Which one are you hoping it's gonna be? <laughs> Which one do you not want it to be? Uh oh, are you ready to spin? Yes. Mark, get set, go. Fruit snacks! Yay! So here's what we ended up with today. A quesadilla, orange juice, some cauliflower, an overripe banana. That's not too bad, actually. We got some special Halloween fruit gummies. I know the kids are gonna love those. I found these at Target. And then we have some popcorn. This is cheese-flavored Boom Chicka Pop. It's actually low in calories, but it's actually really good. I highly recommend it.
lunch number eight is another fun summer lunch. And this one happened to be on the 4th of July. Hi guys, and welcome to Friday. Today I have a very 4th of July themed lunch. I'm gonna start with some toasted pieces of bread. And to these I'm gonna add a little dollop of the honey pecan cream cheese, so it's a little bit sweet. And I'm gonna spread it out. Next, I'm gonna to top this with some strawberry jam. I'm gonna spread the jam all over except for one corner. And in that corner, I'm going to add some blueberries. Next, I'm going to take a banana and make several slices, cut them in half, and then I'm gonna arrange them sort of like the red and white stripes on the flag. Super cute, I know the kids are going to love it. To go along with this, I'm gonna take some string cheese and sort of cube it up, and then I'm gonna add them to my really cute American flag toothpick, and I'm gonna alternate cheese, tomato, and cheese. So it's kind of like a red and white stripe theme as well. Now in this last corner, I'm gonna give the kids something that definitely makes me think of 4th of July, and that is corn dogs. I love corn dogs at summer festivals, but these are the mini ones, so I know the kids are going to love them. Now lastly, in this container, I'm just gonna give the kids some special 4th of July pretzels. They have lots of sprinkles, red, white, and blue. Super fun and really tasty. The kids are super excited about this lunch today, but we're gonna go ahead and eat it inside because outside it's 99 degrees. After lunch, we have a fun 4th of July surprise. Now these were actually sent to us. If you've never seen these water balloons, they are awesome. You can fill up a ton all at once. Back in my day, it took forever to fill up water balloons. This is definitely way better. So the cool thing about this is the kids can actually slip and slide into the little pool of water balloons. It is so fun. Lunch number seven comes from the No Sandwiches Week of Lunches, where I really challenge myself to make creative lunches with no sandwiches at all. Ahoy mateys, today is National Talk Like a Pirate Day, so I definitely wanted to make a special pirate themed lunch. So I started by making some regular quesadillas and then I drew a little treasure map on each piece and I used my food writer pins to do that. I'm going to go ahead and give Jackson and Mackenzie two pieces and for Lily just one. For our fruit today I'm adding some red raspberries and I added them to these really fun picks that look like a pirate sword. I'm also gonna throw in a few olives, and I mean a few. I was gonna put more, but Miss Lily ate all of the olives, and these are all I had left. For the vegetable today, I'm gonna go ahead and use up the rest of the sugar snap peas. And of course, it wouldn't be a pirate-themed lunch without some pirate booty. This is a white popcorn type snack. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried it. And lastly, I'm going to add some buried treasure to our lunch. I have these chocolate coins that I got from Disneyland, and I'm gonna go ahead and tuck them underneath the quesadillas. The kids don't know they're there. I think they're gonna love the surprise. Ahoy, mateys. What did you think of today's lunch? Good. It was good. Uh -huh. Did you like your surprise treasure? Yeah. The gold coins were really fun. Uh -huh. So what part was your favorite, and what part didn't you like? I'm not a fan of olives. Lily, what was your favorite part? The buried treasure. And we'll see you tomorrow. Now for lunch number six. That one actually comes from a week where I tried to make all sandwiches, but really, really fun sandwiches. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. For today's lunch, I'm starting with my ultimate grilled cheese sandwich. But to make it extra fun, I'm gonna make it look like a very special Japanese character. His name is Domo. He looks very scary, but he's really nice. For my ultimate grilled cheese sandwiches, my tip is to add one slice of cheddar cheese and one slice of Havarti. They make the perfect grilled cheese. Now this sandwich is best served warm. 
but my kids totally don't mind eating it cold. So now I'm gonna take these over to the griddle and grill them up. And I think they're looking like Domo already. Since Domo is kind of a rectangle character, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the sandwiches around and start building his face. For his mouth, I'm going to use two mini sweet bell peppers cut into rectangles, and I'm using some cream cheese to help glue it to the sandwich. For his teeth, I'm using Havarti cheese, and for his eyes, two olives. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these in the lunchbox and move on to our fruits and veggies. Starting with some heart-shaped strawberries. I love cutting strawberries into hearts. They're so cute and easy. And just to make these extra cute and monster-like, I'm gonna stick in some of my googly eye picks. And since today's lunch has sort of a Japanese theme to it, I'm also gonna add some edamame. I know Lily will be super excited to have these. She loves them. Now in this separate container, I'm gonna add a couple more things to today's lunch. Some vanilla yogurt and some really tasty granola. So the idea is the kids can make their own yogurt parfait. They have yogurt and berries and granola and they can mix it in when they're ready to eat it. So I'm just gonna add a little scoop of granola and then finally I am gonna add one little treat to today's lunch. I'm gonna open up this box of Pocky and just put in one or two sticks and I'm definitely gonna remember to add a spoon in here today. And I'm also gonna remember to take a picture to post on the Bunches of Lunches Facebook group. If you haven't joined the group already, I totally invite you to. Lots of moms and teens share their lunch creations there every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all of these lids on and after lunch, I will show you what they ate. Lunch is over now and here's what we ate. So overall, it looks like they did really well. I just see a few little pieces left over. It looks like the edamame is left over, <laughs> but it's really just the shell. What was your favorite part? The yogurt and granola. I like the granola, the yogurt, and the sandwich. See you on Thursday. Now that brings us to lunch number five, which is a Christmas themed lunch. Now this week was extra special because all of our lunches were chosen by another YouTube family, the Phillips Fam Bam. And it was the first time I'd ever tried out my new colorful countertops. You'll have to let me know if you prefer the colorful background or the white background. I'll go ahead and put a poll right here and you can let me know which one you prefer. Welcome to Wednesday. Today's lunch was chosen by Elijah. He is 10 years old and for him I went with the buffalo check and red truck theme. I'm gonna start his lunch by heating up some chicken noodle soup. If you're looking for a good recipe, I'll go ahead and link mine in the description box below if you wanna check it out. It's nothing fancy, but man, does it smell good. So I'll go ahead and put these in the thermoses and move on to our fruit. For this, I'm using some medium-sized skewers, some strawberries, some banana, mini marshmallows, and regular-sized marshmallows. Now these didn't turn out exactly like I thought they would, but basically it's supposed to resemble a Santa face with a hat. You have a marshmallow for his beard, and then the banana part is his face, and then the white part for his cap, and then the strawberry for his hat, and so on. I went ahead and stuck in some raisins for his eyes, and one red M&M for his nose. These didn't turn out exactly like I thought they would, but it'll be okay. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up some cucumber, and I'm gonna use my snowflake cookie cutter to make them extra fun. Now, I know Elijah likes marshmallows, so for today's treat, I'm going with some Rice Krispie treats. And I'm just making a very small batch here, and I'm going to use my red truck with a Christmas tree cookie cutter to cut them out. I'm also adding some red sprinkles on the truck part, some green sprinkles on the tree part, and then I'm gonna let that set up. I think that turned out pretty cute. And now it's time to add everything to the lunchbox. I'm also adding in a roll to go with the soup. In go the cucumbers. Then we have our little red truck treat and the soup, of course. And then to drink today, I have a little juice box. Okay guys, lunch is over. And as you can tell, nobody really liked their banana. You didn't like it, Lily? It was kind of mushy. Mushy? Yeah, mm -hmm. those bananas are not very sweet, so I don't really blame them. But it looks like everything else is okay. I see a couple of cucumbers left and just a little bit of the soup left. And that's actually pretty good because my kids are usually not big fans of soup, but I think the soup is really good. Lily, what was your favorite part? My favorite was 
still rolls, they were yummy. The uh, bread roll, yeah, mm -hmm. Hawaiian rolls are tasty. What do you think about your soup? Um, kind of good. Kind of good. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the soup is really good, but I do have to say that most of my kids are not huge soup fans. What do you think about the Rice Krispie? Um, it was, it was so yummy. Now, I, I had to already clean these up because they were cute, but all the sprinkles on top were way, way too messy. I would definitely not make it like that again. I would just leave them plain. And now it's Kenzie's turn. What did you think, Kenzie? What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the roll. The bread, yeah. It was Lily weird. said she liked the roll, too. But what did you think about the soup? I don't really like soup. No. Okay, Jack, what about you? I really liked it. What was your favorite part? Um, I like the Rice Krispie Treat. Yeah, it's kind of messy though, huh? Mm -hmm. What was your least favorite part? Um, the soup. The soup, you guys. <laughs> you didn't think it tasted good or you just don't like it because it's soup? I don't think it tasted good. Oh man, oh well. <laughs> Next time I'll just make soup for me then. We'll see you tomorrow. Moving right along to lunch number four, which came from the Disney-themed lunch week. Can you guys tell I love Mickey Mouse and Disneyland? Hi guys, and happy Thursday. Now as you can tell, today's lunch is super special, and that's because it's not only Mickey-themed, but it's also Disney Park-themed as well. We love Disneyland Park, and so today's lunch has many of the things you might find in the park. So for today's lunch, I started by decorating my boxes. Of course, I went with the red and black and yellow color for Mickey. Next, I rolled up some salami. My kids really like this uncured kind. And I got it onto a cute pick. Next, it was time to cut out some cheese. And to make it special, I used my small Mickey Mouse cutter. And then we have our special pretzel. Now, no, this isn't Mickey-shaped. It's hard to find those outside of the parks, but you can find traditional pretzels there as well. These are the super pretzels. I found these in the grocery store. So you just have to heat them up in the microwave and add your own salt. They're really easy and tasty too. And then I have these guys. You cannot go to Disneyland without trying the Dole Whip. The Dole Whip is a soft serve that's pineapple flavored. And so that's exactly what I've replicated in these little popsicle bags. I found these bags at the grocery store. I made these popsicles a couple days ago. Here's how I made them. I just took some frozen pineapple chunks and added them to a blender with some fruit juice. And then I blended it until it was a smoothie consistency. Then I got it into my popsicle bags and put those in the freezer. Now you guys, these taste just like a Dole Whip. They are so good and really easy to make as well. These are frozen right now, but they will thaw out in the kids' lunch boxes and be more of a smoothie consistency by lunchtime. Definitely a fun treat. Now another food that I think of when I think of Disneyland are the churros. So I stopped by Trader Joe's and I picked up some of these churro bites. These are crispy baked corn puffs coated with cinnamon and brown sugar. So yes, we have the churro as well. And lastly, I'm also giving the kids some go-go squeeze pouches. These are in the apple cinnamon variety. And these don't necessarily look like Disney, but they sell these all over the park. So they're perfect for today's lunch. You guys wanna come see? lunches have been fun this week, but this one has to be my favorite so far. Yeah! So we have the pretzel from Disneyland, we have the Dole Whip from Disneyland, we have the churros. Are you guys ready to dig in? Yeah! We'll see you after lunch! Lunch is over now! Did you do a good job today? Yeah! What was your favorite part? The pretzel! The pretzels? Should we get a Mickey pretzel next time? Yeah, a Mickey one, not just a regular baby. Yeah, the Mickey ones are better. So as you can tell, they all did really well today. I don't see any leftovers. Mackenzie, what was your favorite part? I really liked the churro and the pretzel. What did you like, Jackson? I liked the churro pretzel. Uh-huh. And, no, I liked everything. You liked everything? Uh-huh. What was your favorite part? The pretzel. The pretzel. 
We'll see you tomorrow. Moving right along to lunch number three, which was from the week where Mackenzie took over bunches of lunches. She led the whole thing and she helped pick the lunches. Hi friends and happy Friday. Today I have a special themed lunch. I'm gonna surprise the kids. You guys wanna come see? Yeah! Ooh. Whoa, cool! <laughs> it's cool. minions. We love minions. We think they're so funny and cute. So for today's lunch, I started by decorating the boxes with some really cute napkins and some cupcake liners. Now for our special sandwich today, we actually made a peanut butter and banana waffle sandwich. I used these um, waffles from the grocery store and these are actually chocolate chip and banana and the shape looks like a little minion so it's perfect for today. So I just toasted those up and then Mackenzie helped me to add peanut butter and slices of banana. And then on the front to make them look like minions, I used these really big candy sprinkle eyes, just a couple on each and I used a little bit of peanut butter to glue them down. Also in today's lunch, I'm giving the kids a special string cheese. These are really cute because they actually have the minions printed on the wrapper. In this back corner over here, I have some chunks of mango. They were just the perfect color for today's lunch. And we haven't had mango in the while, so hopefully it's good. I gave the kids a little minion pick to pick their mango up, it'll be really fun. And then back over here, I have some Cheez-It crackers. And these are, of course, the minion ones. They have little characters on each cracker. Ooh, this looks so fun. Mm -hmm. Now lastly, I do have a special treat for the kids today. I was able to find these Minion gummies at Walmart and they just look so cute. We don't get these all the time, but they're perfect for today's lunch. And finally to drink, I'm just giving the kids some lemonade. I couldn't find any Minion drinks, but this one was the right color. This is just the lemonade from Trader Joe's. So, it's going in today's lunch. What do you guys think? It looks yummy. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, we are missing a vegetable today. Are you sad? No, not really. You can have vegetables for dinner. It'll be totally fine. But I couldn't find a yellow vegetable that these guys would like, so I just went ahead and skipped it for this lunch. No big deal. Are you excited? Yeah. Who can talk like a minion? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below if you like minions. And we'll see you after lunch. Lunch's over now and it was awesome. They did really well today, although I can see that I packed too many crackers. Both Jackson and Lily didn't finish their crackers. And just about everybody has some mango left. Was it not very ripe? No. No. Okay, tell me what your favorite part was. Go, Kenzie. The gummies. What about you, Jack? The gummies and the sandwich and some of the crackers. Some of the crackers. What was your favorite, Lily? Everything. Everything. Well, I love this minion lunch. I thought it was actually really easy and really cute. So let us know in the comments down below what themed lunches you'd like to see. I know I've had some requests to do Shopkins, some requests to do animal themes. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Next up is lunch number two. Now this week, all the lunches were chosen by another YouTube family from the channel, This Is How We Bingham. Hey guys, and welcome to Thursday. Today, the Binghams have chosen another fun theme for us, and the theme is Things That Swim. So when I was planning out this lunch, Ariel definitely came to mind. She is from the sea, of course, and both the Bingham family and the Fudge family are huge Disney fans. So. Things That Swim and Ariel all in one lunch. So I already added the fruit for today, which is just blueberries and some honeydew melon, which I've cut into the shape of dolphins. Now in this other section, I'm gonna go ahead and add a scoop full of goldfish crackers. And then for the main course, I'm going to prepare these fish fingers, which I'm not sure the kids are going to like, I'll be honest with you, but I picked up some of the best fish fingers available. These are actually British style, fresh caught cod fish fingers. So hopefully the kids will like them. I'm gonna go ahead and just give them two a piece to start off with in case they don't like them. To go along with our fish fingers, I've prepared just a little homemade tartar sauce. This is just a little bit of mayonnaise and pickle relish. I'm also including some extra snacks today, which is going to be some yogurt. I have three different flavors here peach, strawberry, and black cherry. 
And then these aren't necessarily sea themed, but I am gonna go ahead and throw in some carrots because I wanna make sure that the kids get a vegetable today. And then for a very special, very rare treat, I'm gonna throw in just a few of these Swedish fish. If you've never had these before, it's basically like a little gummy candy type treat. And I know the kids will be excited to see them. And then last but not least, I'm also including a special drink today. But these are actually all different flavors. I have one apple juice, one grape flavored water, and a fruit punch flavored water as well. And then of course, these are extra fun today because they have the aerial toppers on them. Okay guys, what did you think of today's lunch? Things that swim. Uh, I liked it. Uh huh. It was so scrumptious. <laughs> I liked it. But what, you, what didn't you like? Um, kind of the fish sticks. Uh huh, me too. I like the fish sticks. Mackenzie ate both of hers, but both Jackson and Lily, I only convinced them to try one. You didn't like it? Mm -mm. Now I actually tried the fish sticks and I thought they were really good. And I'm not a huge fan of fish, but I thought they were good. So some of us like them, some of us don't like them. But what was your favorite part? Um, I like the Swedish fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about you, Lily? The sweet fish and the drink. What about you, Kenzie? I like the fish sticks. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. And then finally, that brings us to my favorite lunch of the entire year. Lunch number one was from Epcot at Disney World. And of course, I love Japan. So this lunch came from the Japan Pavilion. And I was super excited because I love everything Japanese. So Mackenzie and I went into every store in the Japan Pavilion and I picked out some of my favorites for today's lunch. For the kids, I actually chose one kid's meal and one adult meal for them all to share because it's quite a bit of food. The kid's meal came with teriyaki chicken, rice, and broccoli. I also ordered Lily's favorite, some edamame. The kid's meal also came with a juice box and strangely enough, a chocolate chip cookie. I'm not quite sure that's very Japanese, but that's okay. I also picked up a couple other things I wanted the kids to try, including one little Japanese soda. And I love this one because Doraemon is on the front. He's such a cute little character. I also ordered some chicken katsu curry. That's rice, curry, chicken with a side of salad. And since I wasn't sure if they would like that, I also picked up some dorayaki. These are so cute. It's basically a little pancake sandwich filled with a sweet red bean paste. And then last but not least, I also included some mochi into today's lunch. I love mochi and there was a lot of different flavors available. I went ahead and went with these strawberry, or as the Japanese would call it, ichigo mochi. I think mochi is oishi. That means delicious. So here you can see how I've divided this up. Each lunchbox has a little bit of the chicken katsu curry, a few edamame, some salad. The kids each have their own mochi and they each have their own little pancake, which is so cute by the way. Let me know if you've ever tried these. I think they're really good. And then of course we have the soda, and I just got one because it's definitely shareable. These little glass bottles are so fun, but they're kind of hard to open sometimes. So after lunch, we spent a lot of time looking around the Japan Pavilion, including the awesome stores. They have the cutest souvenirs in these stores. I just loved everything. We even found some lunch making supplies. And Mackenzie and I especially loved the kimono and the yukata section. These were kind of expensive. Luckily, I have my own at home, but they are so pretty. And this area smells so good. It totally reminds me of an authentic Japanese store. This area also has lots of snacks, including every flavor mochi you could ever want. Strawberry, apple, banana lots of different flavors. After shopping, we stopped to listen to a taiko drum performance, which was amazing. These ladies are so talented, and I have to say taiko drumming can really be tiring. It takes a lot of strength and endurance to play taiko drums. Now, before we left this area, there was one more treat that I wanted to share. So I stopped and ordered a rainbow kakigori, which is basically a shaved ice. 
and it's extra good if you order the sweet milk topping. Now I have to say this was pretty good. It's not quite as authentic as I was hoping for it to be. Okay guys, let me know in the comments down below out of my top 10, which lunch is your absolute favorite? Now don't forget to come back on Sunday for a very special new series that I'm calling Viewer Choice Lunches, where I'm actually letting you guys pick the lunches. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.